almost every section of this top 50. Let's go, Michigan. We got top 40, we got top 30, we got top 20, and we got top 10. Getting into it, we're going to Battlefield, kind of classic. All right, Twitter got to wait. Twitter got to wait. So, in this matchup, I know a bit about Pikachu. Mm -hmm. And after recently finding out, thanks to Yono, what I should do against Game & Watch, we're going to see Anthrick. You know, he's going to be saving his approaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one grab from... Whoa. He got hit by like, all of them. I doubt he'll be making too much frequent use of the quick attack cancel mechanic. So the one thing that Tommy can do very well that not many people can is edgeguard Pikachu really well. A lot of people seem to struggle because of how far up he goes. But Tommy, he a lot of he's got the chair to stuff yeah. up B when he comes down. He just knows how to cover the options. Yeah. Little known fact, Pikachu's hurt box also gets bigger while he's in, like in his up B. Oh, wow. Animation, so it, it becomes kind of easier to hit him. That's why you'll see H box, he'll just near every time mm -hmm. Axe tries to recover. Because he knows he's going to hit. And then just kind of backs off and goes right back into a bunch of Game & Watch jabs. This is going to be hard, like... I don't even know what the fuck he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's going to have to outplay him. This is raw outplay. Yeah, like that, that is an outplay, like yeah. That. He's yeah. Gonna do that. He got the, uh, he got the up air from Wedge that just sent Game & Watch a whole to lot the depths. Of time. Wow, that was a weird looking fair. It didn't seem like the very strong hit, but it's still killed. I don't even I throw. know the hitboxes. <laughs> okay. I wonder what nobody Ooh, seems to do tech. against Tommy. I'm also uh, guilty of this. When he does that sweet spot with his recovery, yeah. like, nobody grabs ledge. But Pikachu can quick attack the ledge, so it's a bit quicker about it. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if Anthro will make use of that, because you know, like yeah, he's, yeah, he's been snapping the ledge really fast. It's like the fear of Game and yeah. Watch be hitting you. But Pikachu doesn't have to worry about that so mm -hmm. much. Time to take this game one, but an up spot is going to seal it. When it lasts like a piece, game one. These Third. matches, all of top eight, have been really close. Yeah, I'm certain that that edge guard sequence is going to be a consistent theme in this set. Mm -hmm. About the bacon. Pikachu's nair isn't that good, so he can't just fly through it. He has to respect bacon. Mm -hmm. If Panther wants to go there, he could also camp the platform. I don't know if he'd be able to. If he, he could wants to go there. <laughs> this is really scary because like one grab from like each of them is almost that. So we'll see Anther. Oh, so we use it. So we're with Anther snapping the ledge so fast. Tommy, you see, has to use his jump a lot earlier yeah. after he uppies. Usually he'll like wait to use it. Let's talk about how fast my dog is moving. And Anther has been so quick. My smash father. Very smart to not just try to go to ledge because that would have been the end of the game. And with that, he closes out game one. Good to know that uh, a lot of uh, just about every fucking game and watch area is not safe on chill. Mm -hmm. So they could uh, hit him with the up air back here to close that out. Let's check Twitter real quick while they're doing their counter picks. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have to wait. <laughs> well, Twitter's going to just have to be on standby until the set's over, I guess. Tommy, what, what I'm interested in is that if that normally, oh. that normally means is that he's pretty confident he can win on this stage. He feels like he just has to pick up his own play. Mm -hmm. And there is able to come back. It's gonna help Anther a lot. It's just his overall experience. 
man is being PR'd in every game but Smash 4 and 64, I believe. So it goes without saying, he got that experience. Mm -hmm. That also means he knows how to brawl. <laughs> oh, the up smash is going to kill at like 60. Oh my god. I think a brawl like playstyle being super conservative is going to be highly effective against us. Dude, he was first in brawl for a while in the later end of brawl's history in Michigan. Wow. Quick 50%. That was a nice punch. snap to ledge. He needed that. That was healthy. That's the punish day. That's the punish game that you know goes to the gym twice a week. That was really weird grab armor. <gasps> That's the kill oh, that so punish smart. game. <laughs> wow. After all that of them just chasing around, Tom is able to just seal it off with an F smash. Calling Anthro out of his chase. So it's just uh, certain characters in this game, and a uh, consistent thing I like to call it is just like the, the safe zone, or when you're in the that control that zone. Time. It's like Please. Pikachu, Fox, Thank Diddy you. Kong, mm -hmm. the characters like them that can just throw out hitboxes really quick and pressure your, you know, just chase you down. Mm -hmm. If they can consistently stay in their safe zone, like right now, he would be in there. He'd back out, but he back in, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's like the goal for characters of that sort. It's so crazy. Andrew's really only able to get like a couple hits each time. There is a kill off the top. Tell me we're going to bring this to a... Make it tie, 1-1. We'll see though. We, we've we've known Anthem to be clutch in these situations. Yeah, definitely uh fucked XYK. Like what I'm saying is death. Definitely oh, bodied XYK at showdown. With a reverse 3-0. It would look like a losing set. To be honest, yeah, I remember that set. I don't I didn't think he was gonna win to be honest, but he <laughs> something clicked. XYK called him washed. And it was over. Shouts out to Kyler. This means a lot right here, though. Because yeah, Tommy's been doing work. If he loses now, it's going to hurt. Yeah, no one wants to go down 0-2. But we have to deal with both their counter picks. Oh, good grab. That's going to be in there. It hurt. One more, and that's the game. The healthy DI. Nice. Tommy seals it. I'm guessing it's going to be between Wario and Fountain. Oh, he didn't ban either of those? He's crazy. He didn't ban yet, alright. Why are those three blocked out, then? Why did he ban Fountain? I guess Gaming Watch likes it, too. Yeah, those are his bans. Alright. He's just going to go to Fountain. I don't think there's never not a. Oh, I can see why he. I can see why uh, Tommy would be okay with Fountain. There's never I'll a throw reason Nair? for Nair to not go to Fountain. Dude. Nair is gonna kill like crazy early percents, and he's okay with going all the way down there. These platforms, though. Even they fuck up Game and Watch. And this is just Anther's home, dude. Pikachu mains live on this stage. Gonna get the fair. But it's like the home of the yet. mid tiers in general, because Samus likes it here a lot too. True. That's just because of their recoveries. They have like really deep recoveries. And Samus has like the tether as well. Like both games. Wow. Tries to go with a fair but ends up sorry, tries to go for a down air, yeah. but Ellipsis catches him with a fair of his own and is gonna end up evening out the stocks. I would like to see him start opting for fair right there more though, since he has the multiple hitbox and the move isn't yeah. ass like it is in melee. He has that stronger last hit to it. They can push right. him off stage some. Tommy just keeping center stage, yeah. just throwing out bacon. That's pretty much his whole game plan. It's just, it's, it's, he wants his presence to be greater than yours on the stage. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Just gonna up smash right out of shield. Punish the turtle. Good near. Oh, Ether put on the sauce on here. Yeah, good on Ether to make it back. That could have been a bad situation. Oh, I'll just calls him out with an F smash, and this is where it gets kind of tricky. Because both of them are pretty much a kill percent. That last hit sends I'm flying. Mm -hmm. Wait for Ellipsis' tech, and then punches with an F smash. Okay. Yeah, that, that back air is not safe, and he's been getting caught by that quite a lot. Actually, Game and Watch's only potential safe aerial. The rest of them aren't safe at all. He can make oh, back air work. Has the ground hitbox. Yeah, he can make back air work, but it's, it's still bad, dude. Mm -hmm. Gonna get hit by the light. Oh my god! All right, Fair sends Anther flying. We're at one stock apiece. Game three. This kind of determines who gets the game five counter pick. Yeah. Good patience. And it's gonna be Anther. <laughs> Good ass patience. Yep. Dirt Actually, boy. wait a minute. Both of them won on Battlefield. Yeah. So it didn't really matter. Okay. Timing on the running right back. back. Wow. So I guess timing's indifferent about the stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's kind of in the eight. Dude, he's racking on all this percent right now. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. You're gonna see those. That was a really nice games, like, like as you get higher into the gameplay though. Mm -hmm. Really interesting options, Anthers. Both of them are choosing. Good near. The throwing out is like covering yourself well. Mm -hmm. Oh, up he's gonna clip Anther, Not really anything's gonna come out of it. That down smash was scary because it didn't touch him at all. And I think he's anybody to lose he lost the stock for it pretty much. So we got some quacks coming out. <laughs> I don't know, this is hype dude. Yeah, this is a good set, man. <laughs> yeah, people, people started money matching is what happened. Oh, oh he's trying to go for the hammer! Tommy's up there, man. I wouldn't be surprised if by this time next year, Tommy's name is on the PM rankings list, dude. He's so fresh out. You know, he just hasn't he's had the runs on the Nationals, but he's he could he get there now. Tommy's hella good. Well, hopefully like, the biggest showing we can see from Michigan will probably come at, like, Frozen Phoenix. Yeah. You know, we, we got to get as many Michigan people out there as possible. That's going to have, like... The players from other regions, like East Coast. Yeah, let's get high for Frozen Phoenix. Cause he had a super cool set with Switch at Smash and Splash. And he's a lot better since then. <laughs> and they're doing really, just having really good patience here against Game Watch's recovery. Sees the jabs and just goes in with an up smash platform at the right height. Yeah, it was right strong man, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The platforms. I think Pikachu gets more utility out of them than Damon Watch does. You know, interesting thing is that uh, this is the top four seeds. <laughs> this one is the top four seeds. I'm not sure which one's third or fourth. I could see um, Anther really being third, but you know. Because he's inactive and all that other crap. Mm -hmm. Anther going crazy with his edge guard, though. Ooh, let's talk about his, uh, let's talk about his uh, his skills. That's not talent. That's skill. <laughs> that's something that he practiced at the crib. These people these people forget there's a difference between talent and skill wow. down here, man. He just dodged Game and Watches up B. That's like down tilt. And the other clutch is at 3 1. So I Tommy think Tommy learned to listen today. I think, I think we're going to end up if, like, all this continues. 